Hey friends, how you doing? I hope that you had a wonderful holiday weekend and that your summer is ending on a really awesome note. It is now back to school season and as I was taking some time to kind of sit in this quiet, because as you can hear, there are no kids here right now, <laughs> I had a couple of thoughts about just celebrating where you are and really setting up this next season, this back to school season with really sweet intentions for yourself. Um, as I was thinking about my experience over the summer, a lot of things shifted and changed. I was home full time with the kids again and um, putting in a lot of work <laughs> hours in a way that felt aligned, but still really kind of um, left me feeling like there was a need for a reset this season. Um, and I'm wondering if it's the same thing for you. Earlier this year, I got accepted into a business accelerator program. So things have been really busy. And in that course of time, I think I haven't been doing as great of a job taking care of myself, to be honest. Like it shows up in a lot of different ways, but mainly it's how I feel it in my body. Um, so this season, I'm really committed to taking better care of myself, and I hope that you are too. As we are journeying back to school, um, I wanted to ask you, how are you taking care of yourself? What are the intentions that you have for yourself in this season? And are you being kind to yourself? I'm not just asking this as a nice idea. I would really, really like to know. Feel free to send me a message by replying to this email, or if you're watching this video online, comment below and let me know what are some of the back to school intentions that you have for yourself and how are you being kind and gentle to yourself as we join you forward. I'm also going to share a couple of intentions that I have with you. And hopefully as I'm saying these things, you can hold me to them. First thing is to really commit to making these amazing lunches for my family. I know it may not seem like much, but the idea of having a meal that is lovingly made um, from a space of joy rather than feeling like I've got to make my kids lunch makes a big difference, not only for them receiving it, but also for me, the person that's creating it. And I found that it's also really helped me take better care of myself. And I love these new lunch boxes and they get me really excited to eat lunch. And they've been helping me as an entrepreneurial mom who stays home. So I'm like always going. It really helps me take a moment to sit down and focus on eating and eating well, you know, not trying to multitask, um, eating and doing something else at the same time, but really appreciating the meal that has been put together. The second intention is to take off Fridays, like for offline. <laughs> Uh, I do something on Fridays where it's a me day, but I sometimes still end up doing work-related things. So the goal is to really make sure that on the Fridays when I um, am here, that I'm creating something new and exploring the possibilities of where the journey can lead. So whether that's going to a museum, whether that is having a social outing with a friend, whether it's just sitting outside and reading a book, that Friday is really an opportunity to pamper myself <laughs> in a way that sets me up for the weekend with my family, but in a way that also helps move the journey forward with a lot more joy and ease. The third intention is to have these silent moments that I mentioned earlier um, with you, but making sure that I'm focusing on having them in the mornings. I really am of the mindset that how you start your day can really impact how the rest of your day flows. And obviously I wanna start the day with joy, but sometimes that really just starts with getting clarity around what you're supposed to be doing and how you're supposed to be doing the things during the day. And you can't do that if you're already waking up with a frazzled mind. So I'd really like to just start the morning with some peace and quiet. That means getting up about an hour or two earlier than my kids so I'm not being asked for snacks first thing in the morning so that I can read my Bible and spend time in prayer and in worship. And I also have an intention to have a me treat, a solo excursion sometime this fall. So can you hold me accountable to these things? 
pretty please. <laughs> you can follow up with me around December to see how things are going. But as much as I'm asking you to hold me accountable, I'd also love to return the favor. It would be my absolute joy to check in with you and see what some of the things are that you plan on doing in this last quarter. What are some mindful intentions that you're setting for yourself to apply um, in this last season of the year? And how can these intentions not goals, okay? There's a difference and oh, I'm so tempted to talk about that, but I'm not going to. <laughs> but how can these intentions help set up you, your family, your career, your relationships with a lot more joy moving forward? How can it fill you with joy and how can it really set you on the path of actualizing a vision that you may have set earlier this year? Let me know. All right. Otherwise, I hope that you guys have a wonderful week and I look forward to checking in with you. Oh, one last thing. I want you guys to know that the Joining Your Purpose podcast will be coming back in the next couple of weeks. So if you have yet to subscribe to the Joining Your Purpose podcast, I'll be including a link below. And on top of that, you can start catching up on some of the past episodes to see what you've missed. So keep an eye and an ear out. And I look forward to sharing that news once it is live and new episodes are ready to drop. All right. I hope you have a great week and I'll talk to you later. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope you found it insightful for your journey. If you did, I would love it if you would share it with a friend or a family member. And don't forget to head on over to ericalassan.com. There you'll find additional tools, resources, and tips to support you on your journey to purpose moving forward. Remember, we're on the journey together, one feel-good thing at a time.